Oh, what are we up to now? This is an old alarm module from the old white Cavalier. And it is now going to become a wireless remote for XJ81 X's garage. You see. So I'm sort of sifting through the wiring here to see what I need to connect and disconnect. This used to be keyless entry and all kinds of stuff, and now it's gonna be sort of keyless entry for the garage. This is a set of four relays tied all together here to power the door locks. Is that bad? Yeah, I probably oh. wouldn't do that oh, right, right. necessarily. <laughs> so I just gotta undo all the tape here and all that kind of great shit, and uh, we'll get everything sorted out, and I'll show you how this works. Okay, we're ready to go. So this was obviously in a car, so it runs on 12 volts. So here is a Woolwart transformer from RIM, or Research in Motion, 12 volts, 500 milliamps. It's got its fancy plug on it. We're not gonna need that, so we'll just cut it maybe here. Put that aside for a future project that will never be done. And we're just gonna strip the wires and test it, although I'm pretty sure it works. We'll come back once we get that rolling. All right, so we're just gonna test. We should have somewhere around 12 volts. 17, close enough. <laughs> and uh, if we hook it up to the relay here, it doesn't matter which way it goes, really. We're gonna need a couple of relays, maybe just one. It definitely chooches the relay. This is the little beeper we're gonna use instead of the siren that came with it. Uh, we'll obey polarity. So good enough for now, just to, for some sound. And uh, so now we know our power works. So we'll leave that there, and now we're gonna get the wiring diagram and figure out how this goes. All right, so because this is not gonna be actuating door locks and instead a garage door, uh, opener. Uh, we have some dip switches that we need to set. They look to be set already. Switch one on is door lock and unlock pulse time three quarter seconds. Instead it's three seconds. We don't need it that long. Uh, lock and unlock with ignition. We're not even hooking that wire up. So it's definitely a no anyway, which is off. Passive door locks where it'll automatically lock it or in that case actually just open the garage door whenever it wants to. Definitely no, so that's off. And passive arming, it's not really gonna be armed and disarmed per se in this application, so that's off as well. So the dip switches are set properly, and now we're gonna figure out the wire. Okay, so we have the red wire hooked to constant power. Brown wire is negative output for siren or car horn. So that's gonna be this here. So that's gonna be the negative on that. <laughs> The positive will have to go to constant because it's pulsing the negative. So we'll put that on there as well. Yes, he used the word pulsing. And then yellow wire ignition input. Well, we're not really going to do that as of yet. We're going to just see if it works, but I'll put the wire aside, just strip it. Oh, it's actually got a terminal on it. So I'll actually just put a, uh, I'll get a clip wire on it and we'll hook it up as needed, if needed. So we'll just leave that over there. That's yellow wire. Black wire is ground. So I'll find the black wire here. Pull that over this way. For all you wondering what's in the background, it's Harbor Freight memorabilia. Yes. <laughs> okay, so black wire, strip that. That goes to ground over here. And that's it. One day, it will work. Just rip the fucking cover off the relay. I don't need that anymore. <laughs> Did you fuck Scott? Here's what we got so far. Uh, this is the uh, trunk output, which we'll just use as a test first to make sure we can actuate that with the remote and try to program the remote, because we'll hear the click of the relay. This is the parking light relay, and I remember this would go click, 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 and then it would actually pulse the door locks, which I haven't gotten to yet. Uh, so I just gotta find the remote, which should be in my trunk, and we'll get going.